The Unicaholic agreed for us to interview her on the grounds that her identity was kept hidden. When did it all begin? November the 22nd, 2014. How soon did things escalate? Quite quickly, actually. So the following day, I remember going into work, saying what I'd done. I'd promoted to the yellow status. So I, was, I was hooked straight away. And then, you know, six weeks, I had promoted to pink and then blue and had a team. And I was hungry for it. How has it affected your family? More money and I don't have a day job anymore. When did you know that you had a problem? I started stalking people on Facebook. Other presenters, Sherry Brown, Mel and Dale, Bree Richardson, Katie Hamer. I'm watching them all the time and they don't even know it. But I can't help myself. I've been looking into getting a dye injected into me so that I actually really physically do bleed purple. I even had a tattoo done. My husband wasn't happy about this, but he needs to understand you need to part of me now. Tell me your daily routine. Have a look through Facebook, check up on Shari, Mel and Dale. I get up and that's when I put, put it on, put the makeup on my face. It just makes me feel really good about myself. And then I'll take 1,000 selfies that I'll never actually use. When is your addiction at its worst? And having to restrain myself from the DHL delivery man when he brings the products to me. On numerous occasions throughout the interview, the unique Hollett was distracted by her mobile and I had to remind her to answer my questions. What's the best thing about being a presenter? We frequently get together and drink lots of wine, eat crisps and play with makeup. I have a ridiculous amount of makeup. I also had to go to Jamaica with my husband on a cruise with Unique last year. And in five weeks we've got to go to Mexico. We're going to fly into Miami for a couple of days. Go shopping. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? My name is Vicky and I'm a Unique.